Hello everyone, my name is Chris Green and in today's video we're going to take a look at the MPC Virtual Instruments plug-in bundle from Air Music Tech. Friends over there were nice enough to send over a copy. And in today's video, I'm just gonna deep dive into each of the instruments that are included. And we'll try to cover as many presets as possible. Now, the whole thing is like five gigabytes of information. You're gonna get things from strings, organs, pianos. It's got some Rhodes electric pianos on there. It's also got some synthesizer stuff that I'm pretty excited about. But there's altogether about 5,000 presets of sounds. We're not gonna cover 5,000 sounds in this video, but if you're somebody like me that you primarily play guitar, drums, and acoustic instruments, it's nice to have plug-in bundles and virtual instruments like this because it's just a resource of adding in some filler tracks. These are primarily not the main thing you're gonna be hearing when you're listening to any of the mixes that we do here at home, but it's nice to add in as some flavor candy along the way. So let's jump in and take a look. Now, Air Music Tech, when you download this, the first section are these fabric instruments. Now, fabric is basically emulating real life instruments. Let's take a look at the electric piano to start with. I'm just going to drag and drop it in here. All right, we are having a baby soon, and that sounds like something off of a nursery. So I just want to navigate through a few of these presets. Someone's called Gentle Tines. Teens? Gentle Tines? Let's try a slinky suitcase. Nice. I don't know how much of that's going to stand out in the mix go something that's a Wurlitzer and Tines. It's kind of a combo. So I'm sitting here, that's kind of blended in. Now we've got a few knobs just looking at the interface here. We've got a reverb that we can make use of. We've got a delay. Very simple stuff. I mean, if you're just getting into virtual instruments, first of all, I'm using this M-Audio Oxygen 25. It's uh, very simple, it's accessible. And most of the time I'm just using the sustain pedal under the table and the basic keys and we have an octave switch. But you can see basically we have a very simple layout. We've got a reverb knob, delay, you've got a sample start, the formant, release, attack, rezo, which is gonna be like the resonance of where the cutoff is. Then we have something called percussion volume and piano volume. Uh, the presets are here at the top. So just so you have an idea of what's going on, if we take the piano volume all the way down. That's pretty cool. Maybe it has a percussion element right there, but it takes away all of the sound. If I take away the percussion volume and we just have the piano. Very mellow. So everything you're gonna find with this fabric electric piano, it's gonna be very soft, very Wurlitzer similar. Let's go to one called Warm Glow. So that reverb knob definitely sounds to be like a reverb mix. So how much are we hearing of the dry signal? How much are we hearing of the reverb? If I go all the way to 100%, if I ever feel it in my headphones, I'm just getting the spatialness of it rather than the direct. Okay, looking through a few of these, like I said, there's 5,000 presets with all of this. So let's go to Soft Roads. Take a listen to that.
All right, so next one up, we're going to have the Fabric Piano. Now, this is going to supposed to be sounding more like a regular acoustic piano. I think it sounds great. Now the grand piano, of course, is going to sound much more like a regular piano. They've also got some upright piano simulations here. Let's add something to the track. So I want to go with session piano one. Take a listen to that. And again, using this M audio, like two octave thing, I'm not going to get a whole lot out of like, if I had m much more octaves, I could definitely make it sound more like a regular piano, but let's see what we can do within the confines of the mix. I'll go ahead and start this thing up and we'll play a little bit. things I like to do when I'm kind of layering in pianos or effects like this, especially if I'm limited to like an octave and a half on this synthesizer, uh, I'm going to pick out basically an arpeggiated pattern to play over the top. And as you'll hear, even with acoustic guitar, bass and drums, it's already pretty dense. So I just need to add in this layer, like I said, sprinkles on top. So this is the Session Piano 1. <laughs> So you can imagine the more octaves that you have. Also, if you're using some weighted keys, it's going to sound great. Now, personally, I've got a East West. It's like a Steinway D virtual instrument that was pretty expensive and it's getting similar results. Now, if you're primarily just doing like piano and vocals, obviously a lot more of it's going to stand out. You're just going to be hearing the piano by itself. A lot of times kind of goosing on the delay, adding a little bit more reverb than what you normally would, that's going to help get rid of that virtual instrument sound that you're going to hear. Now, when it comes to the MPC bundle, by far my favorite instrument in this collection is the OPX4. OPX4 is basically a synthesizer that we're going to have all sorts of like really cool modulation pads and sounds. And the best thing to do, especially if you're like me and you're not one to tinker around with synthesizers a lot, is to go through all of the presets that they have. Now, there's so many listed. My favorite places to start are obviously with a pad. Let's go with the pad and we'll go with Mellow Pad. Take a listen to that. Pretty cool. Now if we go to, let's see, there's so many different ones. Uh, let's go to pad, crystal pad. Take a listen to that. Very nice. A few more pads and we'll move on. Let's see. Angel wings. Let's see what that one does.
super epic. And of course, it's just the creativity and the amount of things you're going to be able to do with something like OPX4. I think it's definitely worth it, even if this were the only thing you're getting in the pack. Now, a few other things I like to look at are the ones in motion. So under the presets, go to the motion category and let's go to something. Let's see. Evolution. Take a listen to that. If you're into like soundscape design or doing stuff for like movies, there's definitely a cool one to check out. Let's do a few more here. This one's called Uto. longer you hold it out, the better it sounds. Gosh, there's so many to go through. Uh, let's go through a few lead. Sounds pretty crazy. Then there's so many. Uh, pace deep eight oh eight. Very cool. So that's OPX4. Tons of options on there. You can really go crazy. Uh, there's a few organs we can check out. Organ is pretty well, like I've not heard an organ VST that I've been particularly unhappy with. Um, and go to the gospel organ here, number one. There's a stage EP, stage piano, studio strings. Let's go through the studio strings. Let's see what that's got. simple here i love hearing the uh if we go to the chamber i want to hear this pizzicato stuff basically it should be plucking So my biggest recommendation to you is that if you're somebody that's new to virtual instruments and maybe you've just been using the ones that came stock with your DAW, uh, this is a great first step because of how much you're getting in the bundle. Uh, I'm the type of person where I'm recording real instruments. I'm recording acoustic guitars, vocals, drums. And when I'm reaching for a virtual instrument, I'm usually reaching for that track that's just going to elevate my mix a little bit above it just being boring. I'm not primarily recording songs just with virtual instruments. I do think that this can handle that project very well. But if you're like me, you don't play violin, you don't play the organ, and you're looking for those types of tracks in your mix, I think this is a great resource to have. It's so simple that I don't feel like I need to go in and twist a bunch of knobs. They have over 5,000 presets, so it will seem overwhelming, especially when you're using something like the OPX4. When you open up that synthesizer 
plug in windows. Some of you may look at it and you start jeweling at all the different knobs that you can be twisting. Uh, but for me, going through the presets, I know that I can go to preset. I can go to lead. I know I'm getting a lead sound. I can go to presets. I can go to pads. I know that I'm getting kind of a chill, mellow pad sound. It's just what I need for adding those extra filler tracks into my mix. So if you're brand new to virtual instruments, I highly recommend you check out a bundle just like this. If you want more of a deep dive on any of these virtual instruments, let me know in the comment section below. Or if you have other virtual instruments that you'd like for me to check out here on the channel, let me know that as well. I want to thank you for watching this video. Hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.